Hello everyone. Uh, in today's lesson, we will discuss about bubble sorting in C programming. So, what is actually bubble sorting? Bubble. If you uh, have ever seen bubbles coming in from the bottom of a uh, water jar, you can see how the bubble started expanding from smaller to larger because due to reducing the pressure of water. So, till the surface. So, here also what happens uh, in bubble sorting? The uh, greatest number from the left hand side is shifted to the right hand side okay to the right po right most position so the, 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 suppose there are here are one two three four five six seven numbers so it will what will it will run the loop for six times and each time it will compare the left number to the adjacent the, the very next right number and if the left number is greater than the right number it will shift it to the rightmost place so <coughs> So here, what will happen? Eight will go to the right, at the rightmost place, uh, next to three. So, and then nine will go right to the that eight. I'll just show you just right now. So I just uh, compare eight with six. So six is less than eight. Eight is greater than six. So eight comes on the right side of six. So this this happen this happening for the first time for the first iteration so it go, 2 is less than 8 so 8 goes to right side of 2 7 is less than 8 then 8 goes to right side of 8 so 8 greater than also 8 greater than 1 so it goes uh, right side of uh, 1 8 is greater than 9 no so it will not be swept then 9, 9 is greater than 3 so it goes to the right side of 3 so each time the variable is swapped then in the next iteration also 6 is greater than 2 so 6 will go to the right side of that to right side of 2 so it is not possible to show all the iteration like this so you can understand what will happen next so this will go on for 7 minus 1 times that is 6 times because then in the last time what will happen it will all be uh, seven times the array will all already be been shorted so the no it's not required to uh, sort for the last time so it will just go for seven minus one time that is six time <coughs> so i'll start the program uh, first i will declare the header uh, i'll take one header stdio.h and just look into this i have used a double quote instead of greater than lesser tag when you use greater than lesser tag what happens it only shall search for the include directory but if you put double quote it will search the entire uh, program to application directory to search for the header file so it is convenient to use double quote instead of greater lesser tag so cdh h have been declared so we'll start the main section, main block. <coughs> now I'll declare some variable. Uh, before that, I'll declare um, the signature of two functions I'm using. The four two functions I'm using is bubble sort, and another is paint paint array. The bubble sort will sort the array, and uh, paint will. I'm just copying, copy pasting it because argument is same. Print will print the, the values of the array. <coughs> now, now the question is why uh, I'm giving the prototype? Because if I'm doing, defining the function next to Feynman, after declaration, defining definition of Feynman, if I have de declared, defined the function before Feynman, I don't need to give this prototype, write this prototype. Because if you, since compiler always uh, compile from top to down, so it will not understand uh, if you call the function in main and then de define the function after the Feynman. So now I'm declaring in size. So size is the variable which will store the number of user input, the size of the array, the number of user, number of element the array will consist of. Now I will not take any user input for the array element. The array element will be random numbers will be assigned to the array. 
because uh, if I uh, now to, to do this video with uh, entering element in the array, so it will take hell amount of time. So I'll just uh, use the array in the function number two input and enter element in the array. So I'll just take the user input for the size of the array. <coughs> so I'm using the scanner function to take the input. Uh, it is an integer. It is an integer input. So percent is given, and size is sent as uh, by reference. Now I <coughs> use the size variable. Uh, I equal to zero. I less than size. I plus plus. So it will go to zero to size minus one. And for each for each array for each iteration. One random number uh, modulus 100 plus one will be in assigned in the array. Now why are we using modulus 100? Because it will enter number less than 100. Because modulus of 100 is always less than 100, and the maximum is 99. I'm giving plus one because if you user want to in enter element till 100, so it will since it will give generate till 99. So I'll add it one one plus one to make it 100 if it is 99. Now I print the array before sorting and call the bubble sort function to sort the array and again print, call the print to print the sorted array. So array will be printed, to, element will be printed twice, once before sorting and once after sorting. Now declare the actual defining the actual function. Uh, I've taken the array <coughs> parameter as a and size as uh, size remains the same as size. Uh, I is and J is for the iteration of the outer and inner loop, and T and P is. Uh, Okay, I'll just not take TNP. Uh, I'll first swapping. I I am declaring defining one function as swap uh, to swap the two, two numbers. As I am showing you, as I have show, shown you how to uh, uh, how the number is shifted to the right by swapping. So I'm declaring defining a separate function as swap. So using pointers, uh, if you have learned about pointers. You can understand this, how the swap is taking place. Now temporary value will be used. This is the logic of the swap. So this is not, I've known, this program videos not us have the scope to de describe the logic of swapping or pointers. So I don't require this TMP variable now. Now I'll just give the outer loop and inner loop. Outer loop will run size minus one times. So and inner loop will run size minus one minus i times. Now I'll check for the condition. If the left, left element is greater than the right element, that means it is not sorted. So I'm swap, I'll swap the number and make the greatest element to right side and smallest element to the left side. So I'll make it by reference. So my swapping is, uh, bubble sorting is done. Now I'll just declare the, define the print statement. Just a moment. Uh, I'm just copying it because the parameters are same.
it will run for size minus one times. So it is an integer integer type element. So I am giving person D and putting a comma to separate each element. So that you can understand when my printing. And also giving a, a message before the element is printed. New line character. The cursor will start from the new line. List of numbers. So I am saving it. Giving it double dot C. Just uh, one thing is there that uh, I've done one wrong here that I've given i less than equal to 1. So if it is 1 to n minus 1, it should be 0 to n minus 2. So it should be i less than n minus 1 or i less than equal to n minus 2. The same is also here. i j less than n minus i minus 1 or j less than equal to n minus i minus 2. So this is logic. I have just uh, made uh, some small logical mistakes here. So I have now corrected it. Also, I bring the n minus 1 before to understand and get that. It doesn't make any difference in the calculation. It just to make you understand if you can, so that you can understand the code. So n minus i, i minus, one minus i. So I will run the program now and check whether it exists, the file exists. I have to say check this because I am using DOSBox uh, because my OS is Windows 8 64 bit and normal common old DOS program does not run like TC. So I am using a DOSBox. <coughs> So let's uh, compile the program. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. Well, it's a big error, big error. I've not declared, uh, defined the array, array. I've not defined the array. I'm using the array, but uh, have not defined. So let us just declare the array, giving a size of 100. There is a few more errors, uh, like uh, I have given n in the bubble sort and print function. So it should be n, it should be, it should be size. It's just a silly mistake. Now it's done. Now we run this program, uh, giving the size of the array. Oh, I have not given the h siege. So it's just coming out of the console to the compiler. So I'll put the get ch and run the program again. See how the, the array is sorted in ascending order. So this is the how the bubble sorting is done and Now I'll show you another th important thing that if your array is not sorted, what happens? If your array is already sorted and you run bubble sort, so it will run just run n minus one into n minus two times, even if it is sorted. So I'll check if the array, array is sorted or not. If it is sorted, it will just run for once, first iteration. After that, it will just return exit from the function. Okay, so for this, uh, what I will do, I will use a flag variable and uh, the value of the flag variable will be 0 and 1 and if it is uh, initially it will be 0 and if it, is, if it becomes, um, if the array is not sorted, I will I'll just set its value to 1 and then check if the array value of the flag is 0, I will just return from the bu sort, bubble sort because no more checking is required. Because if if uh, once if once the, the AJ is greater than AJ plus one, that means the bubble the bubble array is not sorted. So flag value of flag will be one, and uh, 
the uh, loop will iteration will go will go on. But if the flag uh, value of the flag is zero, that means the, for entire one iteration of the inner loop, the AJ never becomes greater than AJ plus one. That means the uh, array is already sorted. That means left hand element is never greater than right hand element. So just making a invention uh, because <coughs> I have also put a brace in the inner loop because now I have two statements one if condition and again if ej greater than ej plus one and one is if flag equal to zero. So if flag equal to zero, uh, I will use break, no, 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 I will not use break statement because it, then it will just break through the inner loop and outer loop will continue. So I will put a return statement so it will return just to exit from the function because the array is sorted so no more checking and no more swapping is required so it's just rubbing out so I'll just run it again just putting the size so you cannot understand here so the the for that you need a sorted array you can and it, it will be also you can understand if you use a huge amount so huge amount on them say 600 or 700 and run double sort on a sorted array and an unsorted array and check the time difference you will see there is a huge time difference recognizable time difference if you don't use the flag and if you use the flag <coughs> So this is all about uh, bubble sorting. Uh, so yeah, I'll just provide the code in my Google Drive and give it the link on my video. You can just check with the program, use it. on your program and if you have any doubt with the program you can comment on my video and I will also always there to answer you you can also do like the video if you like press the like button if you like the video and also subscribe to my channel which is SUBHRO1907